Hi guys, is she here? Super makeup addicted. Coming at you to talk about some of the things, the makeup stuff that I absolutely cannot live without right now in this lifetime. All right. Um, I know you would have seen other videos with persons speaking about five things that they cannot do without. But here, what I have to be different. I'm not going to talk about five things. I'm going to talk about eight things that I can't live without all right so let's jump right into the stuff so I, I guess you all would know at least one of the things that I can't do it out and that is my 511 B right this is the wet and wild in 511 B all right and this is how it looks I know all you know I cannot do it out this I cannot do it out this and as much as I have this I also have a backup because Natalia, if wet and wild feel they could discontinue my 511B on me, I'm going to find where wet and wild company is, jump on a plane and get to them. Because here, what you can't just stop making a product just so when people like me like it. Come on, I mean, really. So, yeah, wet and wild, yeah, you know what you're doing. So, yeah, I have two 511B right now. One of the second things that I cannot do without is the Helena Rustic Pigment in Museum. Alright, and this is how it looks. I don't know if you all could see it. But yeah, it's a kind of shimmery, bronzish type of color. And I use this almost every day if I go into work. <clears throat> yeah, I use this almost every day. And trust me, if Helena Rustic really want to, you know, she better know what she doing and don't stop making the museum because here what i am not playing when it comes to my museum or i like museum i can tell all of that so yeah helena rustic don't stop making museum now all right yeah so that was my second um product that i actually cannot do it out i mean i could do it out it for probably a day or two but during the seven day week I must wear that at least three times. I'm telling you, I can't do it out that. One of the third things that I cannot do it out is rice powder. All right, so rice powder has become one of my new best friends because I suffer with, a, well, let me say I suffer, but I have a lot of oils in my T-zone area. I know you all have, would have seen, most of you all would have seen my um, review on rice powder. I'll put it in the description box below, the link, so you all could see. But I did speak about rice powder and how it mattifies your face, all right? And I basically go whole day without any oils in my T-zone area. I I don't think I have to do any touch-ups because usually when I use normal brown powder, yeah, you get oil in like hell. You could put me in a pot and fry it. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. The amount of oil I just have. So yeah, this rice powder is like saving the day for me. So yeah, rice powder. And I got this at Helena Rustic and a 20 gram jar is $18. Yeah. And I think now she's starting to have, um, is it 30 gram jars? I think so. But it's on her page on Facebook. All right. So that was what? The third thing? So right. The fourth thing that I cannot do it out is my NYX lip gloss in peach. All right. I cannot do without this, you guys. It is like, yeah. Can't do without it. And I actually have two more backups there and I ordered four more from a friend because here what I'm not letting go of this next lip gloss and peach it, it is just yeah it is just work I think I have it on right now and I'm just touch up a little bit for you there. yeah so yeah I can't wait out this it's one of my favorite stuff um, the other thing that I cannot do without is my NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. And all it is like magic in a baby jar. Because here what? I have had this for like almost more than six months. And it ain't gone nowhere. Look, watch. It ain't gone nowhere. It be I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but next, you only put magic in a jar because this ain't finishing. 
the same foundation now mm -mm. so yeah this usually would go down as my base and then i would put on a primer before i put on my eyeshadow and this is work wonders i don't crease when i put on this next eyeshadow base no nothing yeah one of the other things that I like is my, there's a next new thing that I'll link up with, is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355. Earlier, I think Maybelline was secretly spying on me and decided that they needed to make a foundation that would fit my complexion because I tell it earlier, I tell her this is more with my skin. It must be like if I don't have one, nothing. And then when I put on the rice powder on that oil, uh, trust me, mm, best, I'm telling you, yeah. So this, yeah, and this was $44.95 in Pennywise. All right, the other thing that I really like now, it's this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And I would use this to, as a concealer around my eyebrows. Yeah, I can see my eyebrows, yeah? Yeah? And I'm telling you, I like it. And I bought a back up in this. This, my complexion is in cool tan. And yeah, I bought this. All right? Um, yeah, you're hearing some noises out there. I really don't know what is that, but let's get over that. Whatever, yeah. So one of the final things that I really, really, really like, and it helps take off my makeup, it's this simple baby wipes with chamomile. And I'm telling earlier, this is take off my makeup. I don't have to use makeup remover. I mean, I may have to use makeup remover for like the waterproof stuff. So like if I have on a waterproof liquid eyeliner, yeah, I may have to use the, um, makeup remover to take that off because it just stays there but this is take up the majority of the eyeshadow all the foundation everything when i get home from work yeah this this is a real walk i think i have two more there so yeah and i get this in pennywise 50.95 for one and i think it has 64 wipes yeah so yeah those are the stuff that i cannot do it out right now yeah i mean it may be small thing for a little bar for me is a real big thing i can't do it out any of those on a daily basis i cannot do it out at least i can't do it out at least one of those things i have to use them all right so again i'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe the link up above put your comments down below and oh my video for i know you all probably think the glowing goddess competition thing out the door but no 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 your girl is going to win too much makeup for that to go out the door so yeah I will post that video actually it starts at midnight on June the 11th yeah yeah so I'm going to post that video look out for it and I'll put the link for you guys to go on and like the glowing goddess page and like and vote for my picture yeah you know I gotta win some makeup yeah so I want to say um, thanks to you all in advance for even wanting to go and vote for me. And please, yes, vote for me. All right. So you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Trini Beauty, B -E A U T W -E, E. You could also that's follow me on Twitter. Did I say that? Ooh, yeah, shame face. That's follow me on Twitter. It's at Trini Beauty. Um, you could follow my Facebook page. Like it. Sorry. It's Makeup A Girls BFF and you can follow my blog. It's Makeup Lover 2002.blogspot.com. Alright guys, so until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.